In this video, I'm going to show you the new record feature that is built right into Google Slides. So here is a Google Slideshow that I have. And you'll notice right here, there is a new record button right in Google Slides. When I click this, I have the option to record a new video. Now, if this is the first time that you've used this, you need to allow the microphone and allow the camera. So I can change. So here's the little bubble that shows me. Hi. And you can change this. So I can click on the change picture in picture option. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller or the middle, which seems just right. Or you can turn it off which is what I'm going to do. There's settings here, so let's take a look at the settings. It's always good to know what options that you have. So microphone, if you have your own microphone, so like I have this one here, but I also have one that's attached to the webcam, my um, blue snowball is much better. <laughs> so I always wanna make sure that that is selected if you're using an external um, microphone. So you can do that. The video, this is my only option. Oh, well, I don't know what sharing camera is. Um, so that is where that's pulling from. So those are the only settings right now. You can also turn off your microphone if you want to, but that kind of um, defeats the purpose, I think. <laughs> you notice it has a limit of 30 minutes. So that is the max that you can record, but you can have multiple recordings in a Google Slideshow. So that is a nice option. So here we go. So it's pretty easy. Um, the controls are pretty easy to start recording. I'm gonna click here. So this window will pop up and you just want to allow the recording to happen. And it gives me a little countdown and you can tell right here it is starting to record. So um, did you know that the reflection or mirror image of the beginning of pi spells P-I-E, mind blowing right there. Mirror image, pi. So as I'm recording, if I wanna um, get into my speaker notes, I could click and this won't show up in the recording, but it just helps me as I'm going through. So like for this next one, why did pi get a traffic ticket? In my speaker notes, I have the answer so I can open up that because it didn't know when to stop, ha ha ha. And then actually I have the answer here in the next slide. Um, here is a link in my presentation. This will still record. So I'm gonna click here and it will open up that website. I'm, I, will, I will double check and make sure that this works actually. So I'm gonna enter in my birth date. There's my birth date and hit enter and it will tell me where my birth date is in pi. And there it is. It's on the millionth um, um, part of pi right there. So when I went back and reviewed the video, it did not record that website that I opened because when you record your slides, you are only giving it permission to record that tab, not the entire desktop. So I just wanted to make that clear. I'm glad I tested it so, um, so we know that. If I want to pause at any point and like check my um, notes or something, I can. I can um, re-record the entire thing. Or if I click this, it will resume recording. When I'm finished, I can just click the pause recording because as we notice, we've got this option right here, save to drive. And it will save to a folder um, called slides recording. So I'm gonna click that. So it's processing the recording right here. Notice it says I can record a new video. So I could go, I could skip on down to another slide here and I can click record and I could record this slide. 
Now it does take a little while for the video to process, so keep that in mind. When the video is done processing, you will find it in this folder in your My Drive. So you go to My Drive and then you'll have Slides Recording. So Google will automatically create that folder for you. So when I open that, I've got, because I did two recordings in one slideshow, so that's why it has the name of the Google slide presentation, and then it's got the one and then the two. When I double click on it, so I'm gonna hit play so we can hear a little bit of it. So um, did you know that the reflection or mirror image of the beginning of Pi spells P-I-E? Mind blowing right there. Mirror. And then I can pause it. So I'm happy with the sound quality. Now granted, I am using a separate um, microphone. If you're gonna record on your, um, on your Chromebook, I would suggest using headphones that have a microphone. Um, those work really well. Or if I'm recording on my Chromebook, I will just put in my AirPods and connect them with the Bluetooth and the sound is, is good. All right, so now let me show you what it looks like in your Google slide, because once you have a, a recording, you can access it from your slideshow. So I'm gonna go, here's my, um, Here's my slideshow, so let me go up here where I started. Okay, so here's my presentation, and you notice I have a record with a little two next to it. So if I click on this, it will show that I have two recordings in this presentation. Always, Skinny Snowman always has options, so I'm gonna click on the Skinny Snowman and I'm gonna actually rename this first one because I want the person to know, so I'm gonna leave it day one slides, but I am going to add slides, whoop, but I'm gonna rename it slides four, four through nine because that's the recording. So I did slides four through nine for this recording. So now, if someone were to come into this presentation and they will see, okay, this is the recording for slides four through nine, I would rename this one. So maybe I wanna share this specific spot in my um, Google slide recording so that they don't have to go through the entire presentation, they just can go right here. So when I go to share, if I click on the shark tooth, the drop down gives me an option to copy the link to this specific time in the video. So I can click this, I can drop it into an email, um, I could put that link in Google Classroom to that student and say review um, this portion of the video. I can't put an ending time on it, but I can get them started. So that is a nice option. And of course, once you have this recording, you can click the share and you can share it with your class. Um, you can set it to anyone within Washington Local, um, can view it, but you can share it just like uh, all the wonderful things in Google. All right, so this is the new feature that allows you to create a video recording of your Google Slides presentation. Have a great day.